Welcome to Tower and Tales Junior, a curated live play 5e Dungeons and Dragons podcast for kids and adults. In Tower and Tales Junior, we take a group of kids on a fantastical adventure full of friendship, adventure, and excitement using a modified 5e rule set. This podcast is created by and for kids. This is meant to be relatable and enjoyable. So let's see where they want to take the adventure today. I'm wondering if you'd go wandering with me. Through the wilderness and woods to where the winds are blowing free through the darkness of the night heading toward the morning light i wonder if you'd wander with me and i'll spread the word and you beat the drum we'll round up the troops and get the gang to come and we'll leave the street You are climbing down a ladder into what seems like a mine shaft. And as you come down the ladder, you can hear a soft hum. What sort of hum? Is it like a human hum or an electronic hum? Is it like monks who are sitting in an abbey chanting to God hum? Can we all do that one? Oh. Um. Oh. So is it that um. or? <laughs> <laughs> no, is an electronic hum. That was very good. Uh. Somebody's phone is vibrating. <laughs> <laughs> and you walk into a large room with lasers in it. What type of lasers? For laser hair removal? <laughs> <laughs> or like electric red pointers that you use to distract cats? <laughs> like security lasers. So will they cut us and burn us when we walk through? Or are they just going to like, if, if, we, if we cross through the lasers, it'll create an alarm or a sound or something? It will hurt you to touch the lasers. Chris says, I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. There's also a pathway to your right that's completely blocked by lasers. There are red glowing lights everywhere. This is so weird. We could use the portable hole. To do what? Go through Go through the wall. We'd just be trapped in more wall. <laughs> well, what if we put it inside of the lasers? I don't think we can do that. A laser is not a physical thing a laser is just a hurdy thing what if we put some what if we put something under the laser belt with, and we put it like but a plague under to the laser belt would stop the laser from going i like your moxie kid but i don't think that you're right by the way this is chris's new voice he's batman <laughs> batman <laughs> hello batman and then chris just vanishes into the shadows <laughs> And you hear from somewhere off to the side, I am the knight. <laughs> and you hear, na 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 Batman! <laughs> I ask Char what we need to do. I'm not exactly sure, but I think we have to get through the lasers to move on. What, what color is Char's new hat for this dungeon? It's still blue. Oh, I thought he wore a different colored hat. No, he wore no, a, it's a different the hat. type of hat. It's it's a different this type time, always blue. this time, Char is wearing a blue beret. A beret? Cool. Yeah, a beret. A blue, <laughs> a blue beret. beret. It's just a pin in his hair <laughs> for his dragon board scales. That seems weird. It's a beret. Perfect. Yes. Braided scales. A like blue, DJ A has. blueberry beret. Blueberry. Nice. <laughs> he bought it in a secondhand store. <laughs> awesome. I don't think any of you will get that joke. I do. Oh, that's awesome. I do. I don't. I do. Blueberry, blueberry. Blueberry, blueberry. blueberry. blueberry, blueberry. <laughs> that so what do we need? How, we have to like dodge and evade through the lasers? Yes. And you see a kind of lever at the other side of the room. Do we have to push the lever away from us or towards us? 
It's through the lasers. And so you'll you'll have to dodge through the lasers and then pull the lever down because it's actually on the wall. It's on the wall and it has to drop down. Yeah. Okay. I was just wondering because maybe we could shoot a crossbow or an arrow to hit it to stop the lasers from happening. Is that possible, do you think? Or that'd be really, really hard to do? I think that would be really, really hard. Because Volpina is amazing with her bow and arrow. So she could possibly shoot an arrow. Don't jinx the dice. It might not be heavy enough, though, to flip the lever as, as well. Oh, okay. So the arrow would have to go really, really fast and it wouldn't be possible at that angle. All right, that, that's fine. You can also summon Maya, and Maya will appear. How far do we have to go through the lasers? How far is this distance? Or Slobby could like turn on to some, turn into something really small and like move under the lasers. Oh, cool. And then he could turn into something I'm probably really just gonna... big and turn, and turn down the lasers. That's a good thought, buddy. I'll probably ask Slither to be a scout for us. I could Slither. He, he says he could slither all around the lasers and get to the other side and potentially slither on the wall or something. How far is it from here to the lever? It's not too far, but so the lasers will burn you and there's a lot of them. So if you did try to like shoot an arrow or something and if it hit a laser, the arrow would burn up. That's fair. So how far do we have to go between, you know, from where we are now to get to the lever? Oh. 30 feet. And that's how far we could get in one round of quick moving. You would have to make a check to dodge the lasers. Right. Though. And we have to pull the lever down. And the lasers are constantly moving? No. They're all stationary lasers? Yes. Oh, so we might actually be able to do some sort of shot or something to knock the lever. Or have Slobby turn into something really small and scurry there. Or have Slither go over there. <laughs> Mage hand. So how much force? Is it about, Is it more than five pounds of force that needs to be applied to the lever to bring it down? Because Sasha has mage hand, I think. I don't. Oh, you don't have mage hand But anymore? I do. I do. Oh, you have mage hand. Okay. See, this is why he's an eldritch knight. Absolutely. So he could try to use his mage hand to pull the lever down. You can only do five pounds of pressure, and the mage hand can only go up to 30 feet. So we can try the mage hand to see if it works to pull the lever down. It goes out really quick and fast, and it grabs the lever, and it pulls the lever. The lever moves a little bit, but Flash is having a lot of difficulty uh, actually getting the mage hand to pull it down. It needs more than five pounds of force. That that makes sense. So what sort of check are we looking at here to try to dodge through the lasers to get to the other side? Make an acrobatics or athletics check. Okay, we can. We don't all have to do that, though. Just one person has yeah, to do that. I think DJ should. Chris has a plus 10 to acrobatics. Okay, yeah, it should be Chris. I've only got plus have... 7 to athletics. Oh, yeah, I have a 4. I only have a I'm not that good at athletics. You're pretty good though, Flash, but you're not. No one is as good as Chris is. I am the best at walking in the shadows and being unseen by lasers. However, maybe people could help with their great swords and whatnot at the beginning. They could stick their great swords out to deflect the lasers towards other lasers or whatnot and maybe burn those lasers out um, that are further in. What do you think? Could we try to do that? Could people help? You could try, but the lasers are set up to detect physical objects. So you said the, the lasers are always on. Well, yeah. So they would burn physical objects, right? Yeah, but a, a laser wouldn't be able to cancel another laser out. I, I'm pointing a laser this way, and there's another laser over there that's also pointing down that's blocking the way. And if I stick out my magical sword that DJ has, or Volpina uses a magical arrow tip, could we not deflect the laser like a mirror and hit the other laser source? So it's not hitting the laser beam, it's going to hit whatever it is that's emitting the laser. Could we do that? And then everybody with their magical weapons and things could help with the check to get across to the lasers? You wouldn't be able to use one to shut another down, but you could deflect them straight back, like into the wall. Okay. Using a magical weapon so that the threat of a few lasers is gone. Oh, cool. Okay, well, let's try that. Then let's actually just deflect the lasers individually as we go forward with our swords and whatnot into the walls so that 
two people can block two of the like some some of the lasers and then two more people can inch forward and block more of the lasers and then we can let those lasers go and then we can slowly work our way towards it and then we don't need to make any checks at all or be worried because my concern is if i'm playing chris and i roll a one on my athletics check then i'm going to get burned by a whole bunch of lasers and get really hurt and also be stuck over there by the laser field getting burned more and no one can help me what do you think could we block the lasers and work our way slowly forward is that a good idea Uh, i don't have anything magical to deflect with well we could see if just a regular sword deflects the lasers the laser does deflect off of the sword cool i take somebody's crossbow bolt (laughs) And that way we can work really slowly through these lasers, deflecting them as we go. So who are the first two to go to deflect lasers? Flash and DJ? Sure. Sure. Do you want to have Alex describe what you guys do, or do you want to describe what you do? Alex. Okay. You walk through this maze of lasers with your weapons outstretched, and it's almost like you are chopping the lasers to the side cool as you deflect them back where they came from do we have a conversation while we do that yeah yeah i say watch out dj there's a laser right behind you i quickly turn around and block it with my great sword all right let's move forward i'm the best at this i'm the best at everything (laughs) and then volpina said hey somebody stepped on my foot That was me. I'm the best at stepping on feet. (laughs) Man, for some reason, all of us have become, like, really self-conceited today. Like, we all seem really selfish. I'm really buff. I was just thinking about how much I don't miss Chari. (laughs) Don't miss Chari. Who pulls down the lever? (gasps) <gasps> Sush, <laughs> me. <laughs> oh my goodness! Everybody's fighting for the lever pull. <laughs> I wanna do it. It's a pretty big <laughs> lever. All you could just grab onto a different part and pull it down. Yeah, together. let's do it at the same time. What if it? Hold on. And in true Chris fashion, Chris says, "What if it's a trap?" <laughs> it's not a trap. It's a Maybe. lever. Maybe these le- lasers just wanted us to pull the lever down. Maybe we shouldn't pull the lever down. What if down. we pull the lever down and the lasers start moving? What if we pull the lever down and it opens up a pit onto spikes? Or it starts... Alex. Or the laser starts moving. <laughs> uh, now you're... <laughs> Everyone, don't pull the laser. The lever. The laser lever. The laser lever. <laughs> <laughs> pull the lever. Pull the lever. Yeah. Wait, pull the lever. Out. Pull the lever. Wait, I need to check for traps and pitfalls and horrible things that could happen when we pull this lever. I'm with Is there a door that's closed on the other side? Is that why we're going over here to pull this lever? Is there a closed door or something? On on the other side, I told you there was a passage to your right. And it's, it's a hallway, but it's completely blocked by a wall of lasers. Chris then is going to do a little check around. And he's going to get some help from his friends, DJ, to, you know, stamp on the ground to make ho- to see if it's hollow anywhere. And he's going to check around the where the lever is pulled down to see if there's any wires or rope or stuff that's going to cause the floor to fall out or something bad to happen when we pull the lever. OK, OK. <laughs> he has a twenty one. That's enough to know that there's nothing, that there's no traps around here that at least the lever would activate. Excellent. Chris says, you're okay to pull the lever now. And then he vanishes into the darkness. <laughs> <laughs> when you pull the lever down, every laser in the room deactivates, including the ones that were blocking the hall. The way forward? Yes. All right, let's, Great, let's go. stealthily sneak forward. Chris walks close to the wall with his back pressed to it, and then he leaps out and does a somersault in the air, and he pulls and pulls up, and then he has his back pressed to the other side of the wall, and he quietly says, It's Flash, he's as fast. 
do, do, do. walk into another large room with a bunch of low walls in it. Low walls? So is the ceiling really low? No, but the walls are like low enough down that you could climb on top of them and stand on top of the like some walls that are just randomly in the middle of the room. Oh, so is it a really, really big room or? Yes, it's a very large room. Okay. Is there some sort of maze or something here? It doesn't seem like it's a maze at all, and there's an open passage on the other side of the room. I climb on the walls and start walking on them as we pass the room. Are you going to look at the walls at sure. all, Sasha? Sure, maybe. I didn't. I didn't know. Because I, I think there's like a spitfall or something. Maybe like you step on the wrong part of the floor, it falls out, and bad stuff happens because I don't trust you. <laughs> So the walls seem to be arranged in symbols. Oh. Does it spell anything? <laughs> well, with Do the I- wall you're walking on right now, you can see that the walls make the letter T underneath your feet. Uh, tangent, tight, tightrope, tightrope. T- okay, I'm going to make a... What kind of check should I make, huh? Give me a check. I, I-, I want to see what... Investigation? Yes, make an investigation check. Is anyone going to help Sasha? Me. Sure. Okay, that means I have advantage. 23. That is enough to notice that the next uh, few walls over also spell letters. What do they say? (laughs) And you notice that all the walls around the room spell letters. Also, the ceiling is high enough up that you could probably fly up and look at all the walls above. So what are some of the letters that we see? R, A, K, I, D. Wait, can you start from K? I'm good. Keep going. Two N's, a U, two T's, a G, an E, an M, an F, and an O. Gem fo Rakadunya T Gemmo fo. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it says. I Guys. didn't put them in order. Oh my god, Alex, is this like a word spelling thing? Go Ooh, I know. Jo. I know. It's one of the word spells go. There's gem four. Go. I I see four gem. Go. All right, so we have K-N-U-T-M-F-O. Also, in the O, there's a kind of button inside the O. Don't push that button. It's probably a trap. I want to push the button. button, It might rearrange the letters. All the walls would move, you think? Yeah. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, that would be cool. But I don't think you would do that, would you? You would just put a generic spike trap. (laughs) No, he wouldn't. Okay, I figured it out. It's Danger Mutton Kid F. (laughs) (laughs) Danger (laughs) Mutton Kid F. There's also the word fun. There's also fun. And and there's still T, G, and E. Tag. Tag. Bag. Lag, rag, ID. There's no B, so there's no bag. (laughs) Okay, I've got it again. It's danger. (laughs) Fun kid Tom. (laughs) (laughs) No. Alex. No. There's TDM. There's TDM. There is that ever tempting button in the center of the O. I want to press it. I'm going to investigate the button. I'm going to press the button. I help Sasha. Yeah, me too. I just are these words first. in common, or is it possibly in a different language? It is in common. Okay. Five, and then five plus twenty is twenty-five. The button is just a stone slab that's bumped up from the ground. But Sasha, you can see that it's magical. I would like to know what it does. I cast detect magic. You find that the spell. On this button will make certain things light up in a specific order when it's pressed. So I tell everybody, guys, 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 if we press the button, it it will show us the order of the letters. Maybe not in the correct order, but in a order which will give us a hint 
that's what I learned from my spell. Um, I'm going to press the button. Okay. Okay. Chris pulls out a pad, um, a book that he has with, with paper in it, and he pulls out a charcoal stick, and he's going to write the ones that glow. He's going to climb up onto a wall next to Sasha. He, she presses it and then jumps next to Chris. Okay. Letters flash in the order T U R N B A C K T O F I N D A G E M. Turn back to find germs. <laughs> germs. Germs. Ter- turn a back gem. to fall. No, turn back to... F- Guys, That's I think right. I know what it is. It is daylight savings time. We need to turn our clocks back. <laughs> uh, no, guys, I think I figured out what the message is. Turn back to find a gem. Yeah. No, turn back to fall down. That's right. The clocks go backwards. <laughs> no, I don't mean the season the, uh, fall. Is there any way out of this room? So there's the passage that you guys came through. Yeah. Then there's also a passage on the other end of the room. And the door frame on that passage is faintly glowing. We're going to do turn back to find a gem. Well, you still have detect magic up, Sasha. Why don't you see why the door, door frame is glowing on the other side? I check the door frame. I touch it a lot. The spell on it makes it so that as soon as you go through this doorway, any flight magic currently enabled on a character will be disabled and you won't be able to cast any flight spells. What? All right. I want a gem. I want a gem. What does this magical gem do, huh? Can I see where the gem is? Because if it's magical, then... So you see a faint glowing coming from the passage that you came through. Obviously, but like, what directions? It was just a stone hallway. So I turn back to the, into the room and I start... As soon as you step into the other side of the hallway again, there is a scraping noise as part of the wall slides away to reveal a diamond behind it. I grab the diamond. Will. Is it a magical diamond? Is it glowing? It is glowing. I walk over it to it and I inspect it because that's what that's what I do. Is it blue? It is not blue. It is white. All right. So Ooh, wrong that could diamond be for someone else's sword. <laughs> Anyone got a white diamond in here? Because I just got a blue one. A blue one. I pick up the diamond and I walk back into the other room. The diamond, when you are holding it, will let you add one more to any die roll. It's a magical diamond of magicalness. All right. To any die roll? By whoever's holding it, when they make a check, they get plus one. On anything? Yeah. Over. Uh, did you pull that from the Dungeon Master's Guide, or did you make that up? I made it up. Uh, it's a bit powerful. Okay. So it can either be a plus one to all of their saving throws or a plus one to all of their ability checks. Okay, it's a plus one to any saving throw for whoever is holding it. And it requires attunement, which means that you need to own the gem. Like the gem needs to be connected to you in some way, attuned to you. To, To work, you can't just be like holding the diamond in your hand. I don't think Sa- Sasha only has one attunement item. Does anybody else? And DJ has like a million attunable items already. No, you don't? No, I said <laughs> so no for me to be holding it. Chris only has, I think, one attunable item. I don't remember if the Quiver of Alona is a item that you have to have attunement to or not, but it should say on your card. I think the War Mage one is. The War Mage one is. So that's why it's your one. I feel like I should keep it, but I don't feel like I should keep it. Well, you solved the problem and you found the gem. I, 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 Chris says, I have no problem with you keeping the gem. I have a better gem. It lets me see things. Wow. Man, I don't feel, I don't feel trustworthy. Yeah, never mind. 
Well, we can continue on through the glowing doorway that blocks flight if people are ready to go. I'm ready. How much um, attunement items do I have? You have two, I believe, at this point, or one. I think you just have one as well. I have two. The portable hole is not an attunable item. You don't need to attune it. Anybody can use the portable hole anytime. You step into an, yet another hallway. If we go through the doorway, we won't be able to hear, like we won't be able to cast flight spells and we won't be able to uh, maintain a flight spell if it's currently cast. Yes. So could we use the portable hole next to the doorway to just go through and we don't have to go through the doorway at all? Or at least only one person then has to go through the doorway? It will still block it. Even though we don't, like, because it's the doorway itself that's magical, right? It's actually the whole hallway past the doorway. All right. So we're doing a fight there, I assume. Who knows? Okay, well, we have to go through the doorway. So you go through the doorway, and you see in the hallway there is a bottomless pit with the rope dangling over it. And the pit itself seems to be glowing with magic. What does Char say about this? Char says, <clears throat> This is very peculiar. I did not know this hallway was in the dungeon. I thought through the doorway was the exit. Hmm. I think I know what happens. I think you float. So this is an untrackable rim. Great. We're in a What if room. you float up to the roof? You can't fly. There's a rope hanging over this pit that's probably not bottomless because that's well, not really yeah, physically it's possible. Not quite but it's bottomless. really, really deep and will kill us horribly. And does it stretch all the way across to both sides of the walls of the corridor? Or is there a ledge on either side of the walls a little bit? It does stretch all the way to the walls. All right. So swinging on the rope of death. Does anybody have the spell spider climb or add the ability to walk on walls? I have rope trick and that's rope trick could help us we could then have two ropes and we could that would make it easier to swing across i could twine the ropes together how wide is the pit the pit is three meters across okay so it's about 12 feet well that might be jumpable if we run and jump and then use the rope what do you think dj do you have thoughts yeah i think that could happen and it would be easier with like people with athletics though I agree. What do we think the difficulty is to jump across the pit? To jump just straight across without the help of the rope would be difficult. So, uh, 15? 18? 20? 15. And then if we use the rope and jump across, then what's the difficulty then? Like a 13? Or like a 1? That's gonna lower it down to, yeah, like a 12, 13. Okay. Okay, we use the rope. But if we fall into the bottom of this pit, we die? No. The pit actually has different magic on it than uh-huh. the tunnel. Oh, okay. Well, I I think Chris is going to throw a rock into the bottomless pit to see how long it takes until it lands. I, I cast light on the rock. Oh, okay. Cool. That's a really good idea. As soon as the rock goes 10 feet down into the pit... I don't know where it zips back up out of the pit and actually gets stuck to the roof. Its gravity got reversed. Cool. Chris jumps into the pit. Me too. <laughs> I'm out of nowhere. Me too. Chris, my team. When you jump into the pit, as soon as you're ten, as soon as you're either ten feet down into the pit, yeah. out of nowhere you fly back up and slam into the ceiling. <laughs> cool. Do I take damage? Me too. Or? Uh, yeah. You take one d six damage if you decide to jump into the pit. I'm going to do that too. For me. Well, if you've all jumped in, you all have to roll that 1d6 damage that you have to take. I didn't jump fall. in. Because I'm not an idiot. I decided not. Well, if you fall, if you happen to try the rope and you fall, it's just going to happen. I cast anyway. a rope trick and I like swing, I tie the ropes together and swing across Okay. And you probably don't even need to make a check to do that because you see because you used another spell slot. DJ, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna use like the original rope and use my athlet and use athletics to do it. Okay. Roll a d20. Is thirteen enough? Yes. Yes. 
and everybody else that did slam into the ceiling, you're actually able to stand up with your feet on the ceiling and walk across it. This is oh, so cool. I'm really walking cool. on a ceiling. How much damage did Volpina take? Four. How much damage did Flash take? Four. <laughs> Chris is the best. Sorry, I'm the best at falling upwards. I'm the best at falling downwards. <laughs> Chris walks across the roof, and when he gets to the other side of the hole, what happens? Chris stays on the roof. I didn't think this was going to happen. I think yeah. I'm stuck in reverse gravity. Level. Yeah, I'm stuck in reverse gravity too. This is so cool. Guys, why don't you just uh, walk onto the wall and walk back down onto the floor from the wall? I scratch the top of DJ's head because I'm standing right over top of her. <laughs> <laughs> hi, hi, DJ. Uh, um, hi, Chris. <laughs> Do you need to have your back scratched? It's very um, easy for me right now. Um, no, thank you. <laughs> Sasha's like, hey, can you take Slither up there too? Hey, DJ. Yeah? It's been a long time since you talked to your boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> um, because we've been in a du- this dungeon for a long time. <laughs> when are we going to get out? Do you miss him? Yeah. And then out of nowhere, Volpina starts Poking me, <laughs> DJ. DJ just walks away from both of you. <laughs> then you're supposed to push Sliver in. I don't push Slither in. <sighs> Tell Sliver to go in. He slithers around the hole and like and does as weird a Slither dab as ever we're done. <laughs> well, we've reached the other side. Chris says, but I'm on the roof. Yeah, I'm on the roof too. Can we get through the doorway being on the roof? Do they like duck? There there actually isn't a doorway at the other side of the what? hall. But the hall turns. Okay. Oh, do they just like walk on the roof turning? Yes. Yep, that's what I'm just do. gonna walk all over the room. Yeah. You see in the next hall over it opens up into a larger room. And in the center of the room there is a young blue dragon. What? Does it see us? Or are we being no. stealthy enough? It's Duck. looking at, it's admiring its treasure. Um, uh, of I it turn is. around and go back down the corridor. And <laughs> yeah, me too. And Chris says, we need to make a plan. Yeah. I agree. I, I follow run Chris. to Chris <laughs> and say, you're, you're a good dark elf. You're uh, a good dark elf. <laughs> so is, is, does anybody want to make a check to see if they... Would know anything about a uh, dragon? Um, Maybe um, well, DJ. Um, you, you are a, the, um, you are a dragonborn um, after all. One of my favorite enemies is dragons. Okay, then you definitely know lots and lots and lots about dragons. So, is anyone going to try to make a check? Is it resistant to lightning damage? Well, you have to make a check to find that out. I'm gonna leave DJ to that. Snyder, or do you want to do it? Mm, if you do it, I'd help you. How about we both do it? I could do it. I'm gonna do it. What did you get? I got a four- 15. Make an, either a nature check or a history check. Fulpina, you may have advantage. I have made a history check. It is 15. I have made a history check and I have a 21. I did a nature check, and I have a 19. Well, you made a high enough check that I think you could come read the page on a young blue dragon. And Caitlin. Just letting everybody know, dragons are capable of speech, so you could talk to it. I talk to it. I'd say talk. We don't want... I don't think it would be wise to try and get into a battle with a dragon. Yeah. Chris says, colored dragons are evil. All dragons and types of dragons that are of a color that are not metallic are evil. What about dragonborns? The jury is still out on that. (laughs) 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 And I've seen many dragonborns off my day, and they've usually been nice to me. They helped me with a lot of adventures, but I've talked. But yes, I agree. We should try to talk to this dragon. Yes, I agree. Yes, I- or Sword Sword will talk to the dragon. Am I still on the roof? 
Yes, for those of you that jumped into the pit, you will, if you choose to fight the dragon, you will have to fight it while standing on the roof. I don't care. That's cool. Does it, like, hurt your head to, like, stand up there because, like, all the blood's going to your head? No, because gravity's reversed, so your blood is just flowing normal. Which also means if you tried to walk on the wall, it would be like trying to walk on a wall with normal gravity. Oh, that, that must hurt. Chris says, who is going to do the discussions with this dragon? Not me. I will. Yes, and uh, I assume Char will help. I'll do the distraction. Are you ready to do a Char voice that is going to hurt your throat? I don't know. <laughs> Chris says, TJ. You are a good and strong fighter, but you are not our best talker. But then again, no one is as good a talker as Georgington. And he's not, and he's not here. Wait, Chris? Chris isn't the best talker? Oh my goodness. I thought Chris was the best at everything. <laughs> Chris is the I, knight. Yeah, right. Chris is the best at being Batman. Dark knight! We're on one side of a corridor, and we're making a plan to talk to a blue dragon. Who should do it? What we could all do is we could all talk to the blue dragon. Yeah. Agreed. And yep. then when we're done, Alex can just make us get us all to roll together, and he'll just take an average of the die roll that we get. Or maybe we won't need to roll at all. But we should like call out to the blue dragon from this side of the corridor and like have a conversation before he can see us. So what do we want to say to the blue dragon? We just want to get by, right? We don't want to fight him. We don't want to take his treasure. Or do we want to take his treasure? No. 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 We're we get... good. We don't want to do that. Yeah. But he is an evil dragon. So, so wrong. shouldn't we take his treasure no. that he stole from other people and give it back to them? I don't believe that, like, evil dragon. W wasn't the brass dragon that we had, like, the DJ brass dragon an evil dragon? Wasn't he a good dragon? I thought he was a chromatic dragon. A uh, metallic dragon. No, he was a white dragon. I'm okay with us just talking to him, so. Well, blue blue dragons are lawfully evil. Good to know. Evil to know. Evil to know. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, blue dragon. Of all fabulousness, we have come to pass. Would you please allow us to pass your almighty lair? Who's there? A simple band of adventurers. We're not looking for any trouble. We're just trying to pass through. Are you sure? The last ones were out for my gold. We don't want any of your treasure. We're just looking to pass through. Yeah, we just want to get out of here. We don't want any treasure of yours. Yes, that's right. Show yourselves. Who are you? We walk out. <laughs> but... I hide my ears and tail because I know that Tiger Claw has previously passed through, and so he might not be welcoming to Tabaxis. I hide Volpinas as well. Uh huh. And I'm still walking. <laughs> Have any of you seen any sort of cat person recently? Um. Did uh, he look like a tiger? Yes. He's tiger. Oh. Why? What? Why is His he asking that question? His name is Tiger Claw. Stop. Why is he asking that question? Because Tiger Claw would have come through the dungeon room first, right? That's what you all think as players, oh. as player characters, but he also might not have gone this way okay. to get to the bottom here, too. So let's rewind back, and you can ask a different question from Blue Dragon. What are your names? I am Sasha. That is Vulpina. That is Flash. That is DJ. And Chris, and our friend, the Brass Dragonborn, his name is Char. Why are you here? If not to take my treasure from me. We're just trying to pass. We seek the lowest level of the dungeon. That is all you need to know. If you want, we can stay as far away from your treasure if you allow us to go through. I've always wondered what's at the bottom of the dungeon. We'll bring you a gift from there. You could come with us. Or Actually, I can't. Why? There are magical bonds restricting me to this room. What? That's horrible. We can break those bonds for you if you want. How? We are powerful and strong. She's a wizard. And I point to Sasha. We have Mage Hand and other magical abilities that Acid Splash, which could burn through Prestidigitation, which can initiate sparkles, if you'd like sparkles. Perhaps we can make a deal? I've been stuck here for a while now. 
if we help you to become- How did you get stuck here? I don't really remember it. Some magic user long ago, all I remember is seeing some person that was glowing faintly and wearing a cloak. And then I woke up here, unable to leave the room. That's horrible. We will try to get you out of here. Yep. If we get you out, will you allow us to pass? Well, I mean, why not? I was put in this room. If we get you out, you have to go to the city of Fairhaven and swear service to the Lord's own for ten years. The Lord's own. You'll be free, though. And as you are an honorable blue dragon, you'll agree to that, and you are good as your word, right? Because that is the word of law. Indeed I am. And what is your name, blue dragon? Shocker. Oh, that's a- yeah, that's awesome. That's a good name. That- awesome. Sasha? That yeah. I, I was going to say Dantaline. That could be his true dragon name, but he goes by the name Shocker. Are there any other off- offers for for uh, Alex? Or like Dantaline. The I Shocker. really like Shocker because he can because his fire is lightning, so I do really like Shocker. I'm with Will. I like it yeah, too. I, I like kind of Shocker. like a, a title. Dantaline for the Shocker. Him. So remember, dragons usually have a public name that everybody knows them by, and then they have their own personal dragon name that very few people know. Like the something shocker, like shocker, and then something else. Usually, no. They they don't usually go with a lot of titles. And if you don't like shocker, we can come up with something else. We can keep going. Uh, Shocker's cool. Okay. I am shocker. That's a cool name. Yeah. Okay, shocker. We will free you. Sasha, go do your thing. And Chris sits on the roof and, and sharpens sword sword. Shh. I'm just sitting on the roof doing nothing. I'm going to see what the what are the chains made of? The chains are they magical chains? They are. They're made of oh some my God. kind of magical, chains magical metal. Alright. Are they similar to the ones in Chari's house? They seem similar. Okay. And the and he says, I've tried everything on them. They just don't break. Well, they They're connected to some object. Perhaps there's an object in the wall, or is there anything on your leg or any on your body that has is connected to these magical chains, which zaps you or hurts you in some form or shape when you try to leave? It doesn't hurt me or anything, but there are these odd metal rings on all of my legs, and if I try to leave, it's like the it's like their chains dragging me back. Cool. Is Shocker a boy dragon or a girl dragon? A male dragon. Darn, Chris is going to flirt with the boy dragon anyway. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, then. You have very pretty eye ridges. From this angle, you are a very pretty dragon. I I am very handsome and pretty from every angle. I agree. Especially from the roof. Yes. I thought dragons had more than one, two genders. I thought there were like 12 genders of dragons. I don't know about that, Robin. Ah. What is everybody else busy doing? Is anybody going to help Chris with flirting or help Sasha with <laughs> figuring out the problem? Um, me too. I'm going to help Sasha. Okay. Yeah, same. What, what no one I, wants to help Chris? I'm actually going to change up to help you. I have a um, boyfriend. Just uh, to give a little color here, Shocker also has... A large scar running down the top of his tail. Oh, wow. Um, Volpina had let Maya out and was using one of her arrows and was just throwing it across the roof and Maya was chasing it. They're made of a magical metal, eh? Hmm. Do an Arcana check to see if you can figure out what it is and then All maybe right. Chris could help you with a with Arcana the check. traps check. It also seems like... I can't heat them up at all. Mm. So flame-resistant metal. Oh, yeah. 17. They are the same as the chains in Tari's house. They're actually the exact same kind of chain. And the metal bands have the same magic on them as the chain. So they're connected to a different source. That means it's dark elf magic. Chris, can you stop flirting with the dragon and help me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Chris. Don't call it out like that. It's not fair. Stop flirting with Shocker and come help me because I found dark elf magic. I 
just a thief. But you're but Chris, also dark elf. Okay, so are there magic, like you could cast detect magic again and you could see the chains leading away from the um, the uh, bracelets around his legs, right? If there are if there are chains, so why don't you do detect that? Detect magic, and so I look at the chains and where do the chains lead? The chains seem to go through the walls back into the room that you were previously in. I go to the other room. And the chains all seem to be connected to the button that made all the letters light up before. Oh. Are there like screws or anything like near the button so we could like maybe take the button off the wall where the O was to see what was behind it? It does sound hollow if you tap on the button. Chris is going to take out sword sword and try to see if he can pop out the plate that holds the button onto the o the button just pops right out of place and there's this rusted steel bar behind it that all the chains are connected to well chris pulls that out so i guess i'm we i try to destroy Destroy the bar? Well, I mean, we need to take that back and you can have a ch- take a look and see if the chains retract as we take the bar over there. I take the bar back. Is it just like a like a, a bar, like a metal, like a gold bar sort of bar? Or is it like a rod? What does it look like? It's like a, like an iron rod. Okay. Does it have any buttons or anything on it? An immovable rod. But it doesn't have um, quite the same magic as the chains or the iron bracelets, you might be able to melt it or burn through it. Cool. Okay. Um, I'm going to see if I can take Sort Sword and file, because it's now really, really sharp, file some of the rust off of this bar to see if it truly is made of iron or if it's something else underneath. Um, as you do this, you do see that underneath it is iron, but it has an odd what looks like the shape of a blue scale painted onto it that all the chains are directly connected to so is the blue scale painted on or is it like actually a blue scale and then it's been like lacquered on it it is actually it it's been painted on i can we cut that paint off You'd be able to scrape the paint off, yes. That's what we do, yeah. We spend some time and we cut, we scrape the paint off. What do you think? I give it to DJ. She's really strong. You're really strong, DJ. You do this work. So, shocker. Do you like to go to movies? Um, what's a movie? He is. He has been down here for a while. I don't think he'd know what a movie is. Uh, yeah, he probably it's doesn't when, know what a movie it's is. It's when you walk down s- stairs and you see a TV and there's a bunch of seats and a bunch of other people. At uh, Flash, he probably doesn't know what a TV is either. A movie is when you go to see a live play, but the live play happened the day before, and it's so much cheaper to go the next day, and then a wizard just ca- casts a reimagining of the play where the actors do all of the things they did the day before, but it's just an image of the actors. Like, you get to see them do what they did the day before, but it's really cheap. That yeah. seems interesting. We should go one day. Anyway, did you get that stuff off? Yeah, and it looks like there was never any paint on it. Anymore. And DJ, you noticed that for every, <clears throat> about every quarter of the scale you uh, scraped off, one of the chains would disappear completely, and also the armband would disappear with it. Cool. Hey, Shocker, those dingies on your legs are disappearing. I noticed. Because it feels a lot more comfortable to have those dumb things off. Yeah, it looks like I'm... When, when DJ is done, Chris asks for the rod back. Sure, and she hands it to Chris. And Chris is just going to paint a gold and blue <coughs> hair from, no! fr- from Flash's <laughs> hair on the, the bar and like poke Flash with it. <laughs> <laughs> See if anything happens. Nothing actually happens. He, didn't, he, so he goes, he goes, I didn't think so. And he throws it backwards with a flip and it goes flipping end over end and lands in the hole, falls 10 feet and then goes shooting up into the roof. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes like, and then his music starts up. I am the man of the night, 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 the night. But when it comes to the sun, like, da, 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 da. I am. And then he turns off his theme music. <laughs> <laughs> Aw, that was such a good song. To the light, to light, the light. <laughs> I'm done with that.
Cool. All right. Do you need help carrying your treasure out, Shocker? No. Okay, then. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye, Shocker. I don't have much of it, but I could use help finding the exit. <laughs> oh. oh. Yeah, it's that way. <laughs> Just don't fall down the pit. Ten feet. I'm pretty sure that he probably has wings. He can just jump it, too. Yeah. I'm sure you'll be fine. We took care of all the threats all the way back up to the surface. Okay, maybe I'll see you sometime. Fairhaven. Ten years. Go to the Lord's own master, quartermaster. Let him know that Chris hired you. And the Lord's own saviors. Shocker. How he carries his treasure is he, he takes all his gold and he puts it into a leather pouch hanging around his neck. Cool. Like a bag of holding, hey? Yeah. Okay. All right. We go through the door, and does that lead to stairs down? Are we finally done here? It leads to another ladder that goes down. Have we finished your adventure? Yes, indeed. Then we now proceed down to the final level of this dungeon that Tiger Claw has been known to to go after because it is going to get him a horrible, valuable item in the service of a Shardalon. And we'll find out what that is when I take back the DM Dungeon Master Mantle the next game. Okay, wait. Am I still on the roof? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, yeah. You're wondering if I go wandering with you What kind of trouble we'll get ourselves into would it be wrong to tag along with a band of vagabonds? You wonder if I'd wander with you. So I'll spread the word and you beat the drum. We'll round up the troops and get the gang to come. And we'll leave the streets. And this concludes the this episode of Tavern Tales Junior. We'll be back in one month with a brand new episode. Our intro and outro music is Through the Woods by Okie Dokie Brothers. Find their music on iTunes by checking them out at www.okidoki.org and follow them on Twitter at Okie Dokie Bros. We love a review on iTunes. Check us out on Twitter at Tavern underscore Tales. See you all later. I'm wondering if you'd come wandering my way If you ever get lost or if the trail leads you astray The music of the pack can always bring you back I wonder, can we wander away? And I'll spread the word and you beat the drum Round up the truth Get the gang to come And we'll leave the streets In these neighborhoods Head over the river And through the woods Got anything else? No, 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 no Dark elf no, 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 dark elf. He could do anything in the cover of the night. No, no, no. But when it comes to the sunlight, he gets burnt, 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 burnt. <laughs> Chris has his burnt, own theme burnt. song. <laughs> burnt, 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 burnt. Who is the one who flash, pulls flash, down the flash. lever? He's, He's a fast, dark flash. night. Da, da, da. Go for that one.